Consumer Guard is a consumer watch show with the aim of undoing the injustice by big corporations against South African public. The aim of the show is to inform, to educate and to give you the consumer guidance as to what you can do to extend the value of your rent. We also plan to expose businesses that are colluding within various industries and making it difficult for people to afford basic necessities. On our show this week, we tackle the issue of cell phone companies and their services. We aim to answer this question. Are South Africans getting their money's worth when it comes to their cell phone networks? And what's been done about the high cost of data? Even though for the longest time, there were only two cell phone network companies that dominated the industry. The arrival of two more competitors has done very little to improve the quality of services within the sector. Most of the companies remain profitable, but yet consumers are left feeling the tweak, paying exuberant prices compared to other countries ranked the same as ours. Welcome to Consumer Guard. My name is Pali Samu Chuminyani. First up on our show, we find out if South Africans are getting their money's worth from their cell phone network providers, or are they getting ripped off? The cell phone industry is a multi-billion rands industry with huge profits for the networking providing companies. Vodacom is South Africa's largest network company with over 30 million users. MTN second, Salsi third, with over 20 million and Telcom Mobile being the last. It's reported that the country has about 80 million registered cell phone users, but it seems only people in urban areas have better cell phone connections as opposed to those in the rural areas. We assembled some consumers and got to find out which cell phone network they're using. The network that I'm using is Celsi. The package that I'm on is I get unlimited minutes. I get 10 gigabytes of data and I get 9,000 SMSs or 10,000 SMSs. The cell phone network I'm on is MTN and I'm using prepaid. I use MTN. Uh, I'm on a, one of those top-up contracts. I'm currently using South Sea. I've got a contract with them, but due to the um, lack of data and network coverage, then I got myself a prepaid Vodacom SIM card. Um, the network that I'm using is Vodacom, and I'm on Red VIP package and I've been using it for almost four years, if not five years. I haven't always been with MTN. Uh, I've been actually through all cellular networks. Um, it's just that the one that I have currently uh, is MTN, and uh, it was a matter of um, the device that I used at the time and to change over, MTN offered it much cheaper, and um, that's why I ended up with MTN. Even though our case studies are based in the urban areas, majority do complain that their service providers lack good network coverage when they are in the rural areas. Studies conducted on the best network have pipped Vodacom as number one when it comes to the least drop calls, whilst MTN has the highest. Despite these alarming stats, most of our customers are satisfied with the quality of their cell phone network. quality of my network coverage that I'm on, I'd give it a... 7 out of 10. Why do I give it a 7 out of 10? Um, reason being is that sometimes when I travel, I lose network coverage and then my phone roams and then my data gets eaten like much quicker than it usually does. And I don't really like that happening and I don't choose for that to happen, but it just happens. And then like the network sometimes is very slow in some areas, like I struggle to get a strong signal here at my house. When it comes to cell phone network coverage, um, I have no complaints, I'm happy. Um, I would rate it 7. Uh, I don't struggle to receive calls unless like the network is out. If I don't have network, I'll, I'll get missed calls and then I just get SMSs saying that I have a missed call. And then during calls, my phone doesn't cut. There, there's never been an issue where my phone cuts. I'll, I'll give them 7 out of 10. Yeah, because sometimes we get dropping of calls, you know, dropped calls. And lately their data is running too fast. I don't understand what's going on there but I'm glad that they give you a notification when it's about to finish. They give you a chance to upload. Well, I'll give them a good nine due to the fact that I have experienced other network providers and 
I haven't been happy. And Vodacom just doesn't, nobody can measure up. When it comes to consumer rights, the Consumer Goods and Service Ombudsman is there to defend consumers. But sadly, only one of the giant cellular network providers is registered with them. Cell phone customers who are mostly unhappy are contract users as opposed to users on prepaid. Often consumers are bound in lengthy contracts that leave them cash strapped even when they want to cancel them. We contacted the Consumer Goods and Services Ombudsman to find out what rights consumers have should they have a dispute with the cellular network companies. The, the very first thing that you have to do is actually approach the cell phone network provider. So that's obviously the most logical place to start. They have access to the systems and so forth. And in, in fact, in terms of the code, um, they have a, a particular period of time in which to resolve a complaint. Even if um, they don't fall within our jurisdiction, they're still covered by the Consumer Protection Act and one can then escalate a matter to the National Consumer Commission. They do deal with those um, companies that we don't deal with. And if it's a matter relating to the provision of the network service itself, so in other words, you're getting drop calls and so forth, that's actually something which ACASA is specifically empowered to deal with. Currently, only one cellular network is registered with the CGSO. Initially, we dealt with um, virtually any complaint that came along to us. Since the code became official last year, and that's the code that actually gives us our powers and uh, in which we're authorized to act, um, the, some of the cell phone companies have um, challenged our jurisdiction over them on the basis that they believe they fall under a different regulatory environment and that is a CASA. So it's something that we, we're looking into at present and as it stands now the only cell phone company that we're dealing with in, in respect of the, the general sort of complaints that fall within that area is MTN who um, have joined us and continue to remember, remain members of the organization on a voluntary basis. Even though the CGSO may not handle all of the customer issues like drop calls, they are still helpful in resolving conflicts between cellular network companies and their customers. At, at the time that we were dealing with all the consumer complaints in respect of the, the cell phone networks, we received about 1,100 complaints. And of those, the, the major issues turned around the actual contract and so that would deal with matters to do with the terms of the contract, either that they weren't explained, that they weren't fair, um, that they weren't what the person had understood them to be, and, and that sort of thing. But a very important area that creates conflict is when someone wants to cancel their agreement, and there's a whole lot of dispute around to, to what extent they're entitled to do that, and more importantly, what penalties that they have to pay. Even though the market is competitive, the question on whether it can drive up service levels to the benefit of the consumer still beckons. Most consumers prefer not to take up issues with their service providers. Well, we decided to raise up some of our customer complaints with the mentioned networks and this is what they had to say. If you scroll through our Twitter on a daily basis, you will find unhappy tweets about a particular cell phone network. We did try to interview all cellular networks regarding the issues our case study consumers raised, but out of the four, only one at a time for our cameras. We asked the Chief Technology Officer at Vodacom, Mr. Andres Dalport, what makes them stand out. Yes, to, to ensure good network quality and coverage, there are a few things that we have to look at. I think the first thing is you have to say, I actually want the best network. So that must be part of your company strategy, must be part of the technology strategy, and that's what we do. Also, we want to make sure that we bring the best technology, and we always bring the best technology to consumers. 
Um, we were the first to launch 3G in 2004. We were the first to launch 4G in 2012. So, you know, to bring technology is important. Now, all of this cannot happen without investment. So you have to invest. And this industry is really, really capital intensive. Despite the good feedback with their network coverage, their prices have come under scrutiny. Price is an important factor, but I think one thing we have to understand is that it is a very competitive market. There are four players in the market, so it's not as if there isn't competition, and it's not as if as Vodacom can then price whichever way they want to price. So one has to consider that. We also think we are fairly price competitive, considering that our market share and our customers are selecting us. So price and then quality of the network is part of the value proposition. And I think that value proposition must be quite good because as I said, customers select us. And I think if I look at the general network quality, it's also very good. You know, we, we make claims. We say we have the network with the least drop calls, with the network um, that launched 4G first. We have the best 4G network. We have the best overall network. And these claims were challenged and the Advertising Standards Authority have come back and said no, we are justified and ruled that we can use these claims. So definitely we have the best network in South Africa. As for other networks, their responses to our questions were as follows. MTN said they couldn't get a spokesperson to answer our questions. Talcom Mobile struggled to secure a date with their Director of Communication. While well, Salsi responded and seemed keen to talk to us, but kept going back and forth regarding which other network companies were going to interview, or perhaps their new WhatsApp tariffs keep them busy. We have more after the break as we tackle the one issue the majority of the country is complaining about, and that is the high cost of data. We also speak to Terrific.com on how you can save on your cell phone contract and give you, the consumer, a chance to call in and make yourself heard. Stay tuned.